Here's the latest. Category 2 now as of the 7 a.m. update, 100 mile per hour winds with higher gusts. The core of this storm is starting to come together and it is steadily intensifying. We will see if that intensification rate picks up and this is why we think it will be a major hurricane. It still has a solid 12 hours to travel from here to here. Landfall is still going to be this evening around Tallahassee and we do think it could very well be a major hurricane category three or stronger. There you go. There's the eye starting to come together. You can see the center of the hurricane and we will likely see this structure improve over the coming hours. It is right over the juiciest water in the Gulf of Mexico. The loop current. Yes, it's doing its thing right over the loop current right now that coupled with low wind shear. All signs point to this continuing to rapidly strengthen and the waters are still very hot even up here off the northern Gulf of Florida. So the official track brings it up to a major hurricane by this afternoon west of Tampa. But remember, it's so big. The winds extend 345 miles away from the center. So tropical storm conditions well east of the center. The hurricane force winds will be closer to the center, which means parts around Tallahassee, Extreme southern Georgia are expecting winds over 100 miles an hour. Significant power outages, significant tree damage and property damage expected right here in the Big Bend of Florida. Winds will still be quite strong in southern Georgia and look even Atlanta getting ready for tropical storm winds as we head into later tonight. Now the biggest headline with this, the size, yes, but size correlates to surge and we are talking about very high surge up to 20 feet. Now when you start to get to 20 feet or higher of surge in the Atlantic Basin, you start to get into the top five values we've ever recorded. Number one we know is Katrina. That was closer to 28 to 30 feet. Uh, Camille was closer to 22 to 24 feet. And then there were several storms around 21 to 22 feet of surge. So we're talking about some rare territory here for surge values, and that is catastrophic and unsurvivable if you're there in that area of the Big Bend. Five to eight feet for Tampa, that's significant and three to five feet down in South Florida. Major rain totals uh, could really add up. I think the mountainous areas up here in the Blue Ridge and Smokies are going to see significant flooding. They've already had some flooding. They will continue to see it tonight and into tomorrow. For us, just some breezy winds. Those northerly winds will gust 20 to 30 miles an hour. Much stronger out in the Gulf where you see these reds and pinks 30 to 40 to 50 miles an hour further out there. 